My god, it's been a long time since we last spoke and I have so much to fill you in on. A lot has happened. I realise it's been nine months since I last done a YouTube video and it's probably been the craziest nine months of my life. Lola is here. She was literally three months the last time we did a YouTube video and now she's huge and literally annoys me on a daily basis. So if you're new here and you have no idea who we are, get used to seeing her on camera because she likes to be centre of attention. If you follow us on Insta, you're gonna see that she's everywhere, all of the time, and she's crazy. We're adamant she's got ADHD, but we love her all the same. So, the last time we done a video, we were, I say we, like there's like several of us, I done a video. Um, I just done my, oh my God, what do you call it? The cardboard thing I do, my goals for the year, vision boards, that's the one, my vision board for 2024. I'd gone over my 2023 vision board and set my 2024 vision board. Um, I'd literally just booked my wedding two days before the last video. And I was kind of talking about how I wanted to get my hem party done, start the engagement party prep, the wedding planning. Um, we had, the gym had been open like six months. We've literally doubled in size in the gym. We have um, doubled our staff. Well, more than that, it was just me and Jamie. We're now a team of five. Um, oh my God, so much has happened since we were last um, doing a YouTube video. So, I've just finished my cut and i done a photo shoot last week. I'll pop a screenshot, maybe like here, if I figure out how to do it in the editing. Up here somewhere, hopefully, if we do it right. Um, of how I looked at the start 12 weeks and at the end of the 12 weeks for the photo shoot that I'd done. And I went through a dieting phase, I lost a stone and a half, um, completely pulled everything back. Just wanted to go a little bit stricter with everything to get myself back up and running, back into routine as normal, and to just take things serious. And it's been a hard 12 weeks to say the least. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, but it's been tough alongside running the gym, running the online, all of that kind of stuff. So I finished my cut, uh, 1390 calories I was on to finish. I was on 1000 calories of cardio per week, 15,000 steps a day, four weight sessions and like two or three runs a week as well. I've done 10k race, like we've literally done loads this year. It's been the craziest, most busiest year ever. Um, So, I've got loads that I now want to achieve. I am eight, nine months out eight months out from the wedding. I've got my wedding dresses, I've got my bridesmaid dresses, I've asked my girls to be bridesmaid, maid of honour, our hen party's booked. It's all going on, my life is crazy. Um, so from now on, I wanna build a little bit of muscle ready for the wedding. I wanna feel a little bit more defined. So that when I diet down for the wedding, I'm looking leaner, I'm looking more defined, I've got a little bit more muscle. Thankfully, I got my dresses before I lost the weight. And I say dresses because I have two. Get married over two days, so I've got a different dress for each day, which I'm actually really excited about because they're entirely different, um, and I love that. So I lost the weight, the stone and a half, after I got my dresses, which means I've now got room to get a little bit stronger, build a little bit of muscle, um, and then pull it back again before my dress fit in. So we've got some, we've got some wiggle room to play with, thank God, because I think if I told my mother my wedding dress didn't fit, she would absolutely kill me. The main reason for this video is because so many of you, number one, one YouTube back, which I love, so here we are. But number two, most importantly, is to document the muscle building journey. I love the fitness space for how much it shares, like behind the scenes, the reality of dieting, vlogs like this of, you know, a week in the life, a day in the life, all of that kind of stuff. However, very few people actually share what happens at the end of a diet and what a muscle building phase entails. Most of the girls we work with, most of the girls we talk to, 
are really scared to build muscle, they're really intimidated by getting stronger, they don't really know what it means, they don't know how they're supposed to look, gaining a little bit of body fat is scary once you've lost weight. So I want to document that process because that's exactly what I'm now going to be doing and I'm actually taking it serious and doing it properly for a change. So I've got a coach myself, I had a coach through my 12 week diet, um, we've done the photo shoot and now I'm continuing with my coach and we're going to focus on getting a little bit stronger and building some muscle for the wedding. I love girls that look strong. So that is the goal that I'm going for. I said to my coach, I want big quads, big legs in general, big quads, big hamstrings, big glutes, and a big back. I want nice big shoulders, wide lats, defined arms, so that when I'm in my dress, you can see all the definition, and wow, can't wait, I'm excited. So my goal is based around that. I'm going into, this week is more of sort of just getting back into routine. My calories have been up a little, so I'm now up to 1,700 calories. We're just slowly going to build it up. 120 grams of protein, so my protein's actually a little lower than what it was when I was dieting. The main reason for that is just so I've got a little bit more carbs to fuel all my workouts. Carbs are our energy. Carbs definitely aren't the devil, so more carbs means more energy going into my workouts so that I can push things a little bit more in the gym, focus on getting a little bit stronger. So... 1,700 calories, I'm down to 10,000 steps a day now, which is quite nice, it's nice and easy for me to manage and maintain, and then I am on 500 calories of cardio a week now, and I can get that in however I want, so I'll probably do some runs, because I want to keep the running up, um, I done Tough Mudder in the summer this year, which ended up being 17k with 30 obstacles, and I done a 10k race, um, and got my first ever sub one hour 10k so I definitely want to keep the running up I'm feeling my strongest I'm looking my best and I'm at my fittest too so I definitely want to maintain that so we're going to do maybe one or two runs a week and one or two sessions on the bike just to get my cardio calories in and that'll be it we're going to take it week by week things will change as I do my check-in so I'm going to document the process each week I'll do a check-in every week as part of documenting this muscle building phase um, and this week's week one, so it's just about getting back into routine. I didn't celebrate my birthday a couple of weeks ago while dieting, so I picked up my birthday cake yesterday and I am making the most of that this week. I'm tracking it, so there's going to be a couple of days where I'm over my calories, but that's fine, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm just going to do some extra steps to accommodate some of the extra calories, which, which is chill. So, I've got a five-day training split, because that's what I wanted to go for. I've got two uppers, two lowers, and a full body. And then I've run through my food. So 1,700 calories, 120 grams of protein, 500 calories with cardio every week, and five weight-based training sessions. This week's just about getting into the swing of things, finding my feet with training. We've got our KCM Christmas party as well. So I'm excited to catch up with our girls and have a drink with our girls outside of the gym and do some normal social things. So I'm just going to run you through this vlog as part of my week, just what I'm doing day to day, show you some behind the scenes, and then over the next couple of weeks I'll go through things in a bit more detail and just show the reality of how things look when you're building muscle, how training's going, what food looks like, maybe some, you know, full days of eating, maybe a week of eating, some training videos, all the kind of usual behind the scenes, my check-ins, how I'm bloated, how I'm feeling, how I'm managing Christmas so that I can still enjoy and work around my goals and we'll just go from there. So I have a mad busy week this week. Our Black Friday offer has popped for the gym. So I've got loads of calls and loads of new clients to get set up. So I'm going to take you through the week, show you our entails and we'll go from there. Here I am back again at my trusted kettle I'll make myself a cup of tea. Shock. I'm talking quiet because it's like quarter past five in the morning. Um, just getting myself ready to go to the gym for morning shift. Things have been crazy this week. I am non-stop, which is fun. And I've just been on back-to-back -back calls all day yesterday, the day before. And I've got the same again tonight. I have quite a busy day today, so I've got morning shift PT, which will finish at half ten. I need to try train quickly in like 30 to 40 minutes. Got to run home, grab my dogs, take them to the groomers, run round, doing some couple of last minute bits. I need to go to B&M, pick some stuff up. 
Um, I need to go to town, get some last minute decorations because it's our client Christmas party tomorrow. And I started sorting everything last night and I remembered that I don't have any helium for any of the balloons. So I need to go to town and get all of that. But then I'm also on calls from half past three until six tonight and then in the gym for set up meetings after that. And then I've got to pick up pick up all the cupcakes and everything ready for the party tomorrow. And then I've got to shower and get myself ready and everything tonight and wash my hair, get this tan off. It's gonna be a busy day. So far this week it's actually been really nice to not feel like I'm dieting and just be eating normal. Training's gone really well. Had some PBs and things with training, trying out my new training plan. And I am aching like no tomorrow this week from it, so that's good. Um, so plan of action now is to just continue to be 100 mile an hour today and tomorrow morning. Get all of the venue decorated tomorrow morning ready for the Christmas party and then night out tomorrow night with all our with all our girls. I'm looking forward to it. Here I am again, just pulling up at the gym. It's half five in the morning, so same old routine. If I'm not at the gym, I'm at my desk in the house and if I'm not there, God knows where I am because that's where you find me all of the time. So this episode's just been a little bit of a quick update of where I'm at now because so much has changed since we last on a vlog. Um, I gotta get myself into the gym to get to work so make sure that you've subscribed to the channel because we're going to be having regular videos. Fingers crossed every week if not every other with some vlogs and some updates on everything that's going on and documenting this muscle building journey for you. Thank you.